what's your biggest concern with the team emotionally after the way this game just ended? Uh, you know, our biggest concern will be, you know, how they're going to come out on Tuesday um, for practice. And, uh, you know, we as a staff tomorrow when we meet uh, with our players, uh, we're, we're just going to have to talk about moving on and, you know, and, and learn from uh, what happened. But, uh, you know, the, the greatest thing that I, that I can take from this game is the heart that we have in our team. Um, you know, they they fought to the bitter end. And, you uh, uh, Tarleton just had the ball bounce the right way for them at the in the end, and uh, but you know we don't have time to feel sorry for ourselves. Uh, we got to regroup, refocus, and uh, get ready for Valdosta State. How much emphasis will you put on that football game because um, it's a non-conference game, or how much will you kind of be preparing for conference the next week? Well, we're I mean we're going to treat Valdosta just like any game. I think it's a great opportunity for us to go out there and. And, and see what we can do. You know, our kids have been playing hard. I think, you know, if, if we can put everything together and, and quit shooting ourselves in the foot, then we have a chance to be successful every weekend. And so, um, you know, but it's it's this is going to be a tough one to overcome, and I, and I know our kids are, are hurting right now, but, um, you know, there's a lot more football to be played. Blake Smith was in here, and he was talking about how proud he was of the offensive line, putting it all out there for him. He was over 100 yards. Uh, was able to score the touchdown in the fourth quarter. What what made them so successful in the second half? Uh, we just got a great group of guys that work well together up front, and uh, they're very physical, and they take pride in what they do up front. Um, you know, that's they don't get a lot of accolades at all, um, but they take great pride in seeing their running backs uh, get a lot of yards and uh, the success the success that they have. And so, um, we got to build on that. Um, I think that's something we do very well from an offensive standpoint is run the ball, and so we got to continue to build on it and improve. What were the biggest changes you saw from the first half to the second half both sides of the ball? Um, you know, I thought our defense started playing a lot better in the second half and not giving up the big plays. Uh, there's a couple um, that they hit down on their sideline that won for uh, – that set up that, that score. Um, we got to stay over top, and we got to make better plays than that. And we and we got to get we got to find ways to put pressure on the quarterback. I guess that's uh, been the biggest disappointment on the defensive side right now. Um, and, and so we're going to have to uh, find ways as a defensive staff to do that. What did uh, What did you feel the crowd support brought to the game? Matt, our, our crowd was great um, in that fourth quarter, especially um, just them getting up and, and being loud and. And, and making it really tough on Tarleton. Uh, that, I think our guys really feed off of that, and uh, hopefully we can see more here at uh, San Angelo Stadium. When you talk about the fourth quarter, the offense got a lot of yards, and the fourth quarter moved up, moved down the field, and, and scored a couple times. Tell me what you were feeling. When you were I would say in the fourth quarter. Uh, just the offense as a unit, we were a lot more excited. Just everybody was out there just ready to go. Every snap, it was like we were just ready for that big play. Just We knew it was coming. We were waiting for it. And if that big play wasn't coming, we knew we were going to keep on getting yards after yards after yards and driving down the field. What about the formation where you scored your touchdown or you take the direct snap? It didn't seem like it worked as well as you wanted to a week ago, but you got the touchdown today. Uh, we made a few adjustments and uh, just switched a couple things around. And uh, just I think everybody just truly knew their assignment this week and just got their blocks. And I had J.C. and Jared Beebe up there and just with the whole offensive line just blowing a big gap and allowing me to get through the line of scrimmage and uh, score a touchdown. What's gonna I'm going to go on. Key, what will be the key factor this week to uh, keep balance your high? When you scored the go-ahead touchdown, uh, but then you end up losing the football game, how, how do you keep yourself together? Uh, I would say as, as a team uh, – our our big goal this week was you know one play that you know one down just that's what we were focusing on and I think if we just keep on focusing on that we're just going to keep on doing great things and playing a great 60 minutes like we just did I mean I know the outcome w wasn't what we were looking for but I'm I'm excited that the way that all my teammates played the heart that they were playing with and you know even if we got down it, it didn't matter we were coming right back at them and I was extremely proud of my teammates. I mean, there, there's, there's not even words that can really explain what the offensive line do because it's so great. I mean, if it wasn't for them, I'm, you, you couldn't do anything. 
And I mean, I, I give everything I have, my body, my mind, just everything out there and lay it out on the line for them because I know they're doing the exact same thing every single down. They're right there just grinding out every play and I'm just, I'm so happy for them. And I know everybody else on the offensive side of the ball is too. First half, you kind of went stagnant, only scoring seven points. What was the difference in the second half for the offense? I would say uh, we came back out and we were refocused. We we truly bought in. We you know the this team, you know, coming out, we knew that you know we could do great things, and just we all bought into that. I think, and it just truly showed in that last thirty minutes. And that's what another thing I think we're going to focus on is we're just going to make sure that we can play that way a full 60 minutes and I think we can do great things in this conference. Uh, tell me about the emotions. Um, you know, obviously it was great for a little bit but then it doesn't end the way you want. How, right. What's your just mindset? Um, I mean there's a lot of ups and downs in every football game. Um, this one just happened to finishing it down. Um, we had the opportunities to make the plays. We just didn't seize the opportunities. So it's it a disappointing loss. Tell me about some of the hard hit especially the second half, it's all the Rams defense. We're getting some good licks in. Um, uh, halftime, you know, we told each other we need to step it up. We let up too many points the first half, and we needed to come out there and, you know, make some plays and try to get that ball back. So we were just trying to fly around and make something happen. What's the biggest difference between the first half and the second half for the defense? Um, I think, you know, I'm not really sure. We made a few adjustments, which helped, but I guess the attitude of just, you know, we were down at half, and we knew we needed to come out there and make plays, and, we, you know, we made some plays, but some plays you still weren't able to make. Looking forward to going on the road next week against Valdosta. What, what do you take from this game to prepare for next week? Well, we fought. We fought all four quarters, you know, 60 minutes, and that's something big. And, you know, we you know we can trust each other. And that's just, you know, that's a big thing we can take on the road with us. So.